Okay, so the messages I was getting for you guys, I'm gonna look down because I have my notes here. Um, trying to figure out what will truly make you happy. So whether we're talking about, you know, a relationship or a job or something like that, I do feel like a lot of you guys are just reevaluating the moves that you want to make and possibly are going to be switching things up. Um, also, I was getting the energy of wondering if you made the right decision, whatever that may mean for you. I do feel like some of you guys are maybe questioning that. Um, also trying to let go. So some of you guys maybe know that maybe there's a person or a thing in your life that really needs to go in order for you to move forward and i feel like a lot of you guys are finally going to go ahead and let go of that um also really quickly do go check out the new merch super cute okay got a mug right here. <laughs> i would have everything like i love making merch now it's so fun but yes do go check out the new merch uh, i'm super excited about it also i do want to give a big thank you to everyone who has joined my patreon and to everyone who has subscribed to my second channel the links to both of those will be down below and yeah uh, let's get into your reading also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. Here are the messages for Gemini. Alright, we have the Page of Cups energy. Now, the Page of Cups is going to represent some good news coming in. Also, the Page of Cups to me could be an offer of some sort of like almost like a cute little offer of love. Maybe um, some of you are talking to somebody new or some of you guys are going to be talking to somebody. So we do have the Eight of Cups here as well. I do feel like a lot of you guys are emotionally um, trying to detach yourself from the situation. Um, definitely could have to do with a love situation or even a friendship. We do have the Two of Pentacles energy here. So a lot of you are just really trying to get back to balance, trying to find balance. I also feel a lot of you may be juggling different things right now as far as life, two jobs, um, things like that, possibly a job and a business. I do feel like there's just a lot going on with you guys. Okay, Russ, what is the energy surrounding Gemini? Okay, Four of Wands. Okay, so a lot of you guys, Four of Wands can mean a couple of things. So Four of Wands can represent stability. I do feel like a lot of you guys are very focused on just getting stable financially, stable emotionally, all of that. But also the Four of Wands, this can represent marriage. Maybe some of you guys are in a very happy relationship, are wanting to take things to the next level. And I do see you doing that universe what is the energy surrounding gemini Ooh, empress energy okay so some of you okay so i do feel like some of you guys empress of course this can represent pregnancy maybe some of you guys are expecting or some of you guys are going to be getting pregnant but also the empress you know how some people like call their business their baby maybe some of you are planning on starting a business or um wanting to get that together as well um, but i do feel like a lot of you guys are wanting to you know obtain a certain you know finances want to accomplish it you know financial stability all of that but i feel like a lot of you really just want to take shit to the next level whether we are talking about relationship or we are talking about um you know work or whatever the case is i do feel like a lot of you guys are just very focused on you know what is going to make you happy what you can do to find happiness ten of cups and i do see you go like moving towards that energy i do feel like a big thing here is this eight of cups energy walking away letting go of something that just doesn't serve you anymore whether this is a relationship a friendship or whatever the case is a lot of you are taking that step in order to you know be happy and you know get the drama and shit out of your life we do have the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could deal with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but I do feel if this is your energy here, you just want to be stable. And I do feel like you guys right now are willing to work for it. Um, I do feel like a lot of you guys are going to start moving different as well. I'm also getting a, like an energy that you guys just want to keep to yourself. Maybe just keep to you or, you know, like almost, I want to say isolate yourself, but like not in an unhealthy way. Just kind of doing you right now, not really paying attention to everything else and everyone else. Um, I do feel like this could be advice for some of you guys. Um, I got to say this five of swords and the devil at the bottom of the deck i definitely feel there could be somebody in your life that does not have good intentions with of course we will clarify and get into that but i do feel a lot of you of course this could just be the advice but a lot of you are not you know paying attention to that shit um you know you already chose to just kind of distance yourself anyway so it doesn't really matter but i do feel like something that's very important here is that if you haven't walked away from this energy you know that this five of swords energy that someone is possibly taking advantage of you or somebody um you know doesn't have good intentions towards you i do feel like it is very important that you let that energy go and walk away from it why is the page of cups energy here for some reason i feel like this is going to be good news regarding your career maybe you get a job or Maybe people are interested in your business or something like that. And we do have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles has come out twice now. 
there's a lot going on. I do see you guys finding this balance. Um, the Two of Pentacles as well can represent juggling. Now, I will say this. Five of Swords energy doesn't sit right with me. Maybe some of you are dealing with someone that may be juggling. Of course, that message is not for everyone. So if you have a really good relationship with now, do not take that message. But um, some of you may be dealing with a person that is juggling and just does not have, you know, the best intentions towards you. Okay, damn. And I am feeling... I feel like I have to take all of these, so I'm going to. So we do have the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands, Sun, and the Hierophant. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. Um, I feel like things, something's up and down. Something's up and down. When times are good, times are great. When times are bad, they're really bad. I feel like this is what you're going through. You could be going through a karmic cycle with somebody. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Sagittarius. Hierophant energy. Somebody wants to marry you. I definitely was getting that vibe, but I do feel like some of you are not, you're not sure. Maybe you feel like this person's moving a little too fast. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like this, some of you are just not sure about this. Listen to your intuition. Definitely listen to your intuition if you're not sure if this is the right thing to do, if you don't want to rush into marriage or into moving together or having children or whatever the case is. Do listen to your intuition on that one because you're right. I do feel like something's up. I, I gotta say, I do feel like something's up a little bit. Why is the Four of Wands energy here? Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, you guys, you just want to be successful. You want to focus on that. And I do feel a lot of you have a skill or a talent that you know is going to take you very far. But you got to you gotta distance yourself from all this other energy in order to focus on that. Um, I do feel like some of you guys may be getting an offer of some sort, a financial offer, the Ace of Pentacles. This could be a lump sum of money coming your way. Also, this can represent inheritance as well. Um, I do also feel that some of you guys are going to be renting or purchasing a home very soon. Um, clarifying the Empress, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so being a little bit uncertain about your decision. Of course, we could be talking about a business, but we could also be talking about a pregnancy as well. Why is the Two of Swords energy here? And like I was saying in the beginning of the reading, I feel like some of you are not sure if you made the right decision about something. Six of Cups, it could be the person that you're with. A little uncertain about what's going on with that. Is Are things going to last? Also, the Six of Cups, this could represent the past. So there could be somebody from your past wanting to come back. Star card energy could be an Aquarius. Somebody wants to heal things and um, try to rekindle things. So for some of you, that could be a situation that you're dealing with. Not really sure. Um what choice to make as far as that goes. Give me more on the Two of Swords. Give me more on the Two of Swords. Okay, this one wanted to come out. Five of Pentacles. Ooh. Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like some of you are worried that someone is going to abandon you. It could have to do with your pregnancy. Or maybe you already have children. Like Maybe this has already happened. You're scared that someone is going to abandon you in this situation. Why is the Seven of Swords energy here? Okay. All right. So something good to know is I don't feel like they are. Um, for some of you, if this is new, if you're like pregnant or just had a baby, I'd feel like this person is willing to you know, help you work through things. This person is willing to stick around and like, I do feel like they're willing to help you and they're willing to ride this ride with you. So do know for some of you that are maybe like feeling a little bit insecure about that. Like, okay, are they going to stay with me? Are they going to stick with me? They are. For those of you that have, that have, this is a new pregnancy, they are. You know, I'm not saying things are going to be easy. Uh, I definitely don't feel like things are going to be easy here. And I do feel like there are some things that you, that you and this person still need to work out, but I do not see them abandoning you. Why is the Ten of Cups energy here? And I do feel like you are, regardless of all the shit that maybe you're going through, you are moving towards happiness. And I do feel like the biggest thing in this whole reading is to let go and distance yourself from negative energies. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Like, who, whoever or whatever is making you feel like this, drop them. Like, and I know that's a lot easier said than done. But you have so much good coming to you. You got so much good financial energy coming to you. Your business is going to be successful. You have got to not let this person affect you in this way. The Eight of Cups literally came out twice. It's time to emotionally let go of this shit. Whether this is someone from your past or, of course, this is someone that you're dealing with. And I do feel for some of you, you may have a child with this person. You may be having a child with this person. So it does make it a little bit difficult. But honestly, that doesn't matter. You cannot let them affect you like this. You've got to continue to move forward and focus on yourself, focus on your finances and all of that. Now, we do have the Two of Wands clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, you do have somebody coming in. I do feel like some of you have a lot of options in love. I also feel some of you are dealing with a lot of drama in love. Five of Wands energy. You may be dealing with somebody that's jealous. Um, somebody, maybe there's a lot of competition. Like the Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands, there's a lot of competition. Maybe this person feels like they have to compete for your 
you know, energy, or maybe you feel like you have to compete for theirs. Why is the Five of Wands energy here? There could be a lot of people jealous of you at this time. Why is the Five of Wands energy here? Okay, so I just got a very specific message. Somebody is jealous that you're having a child with the person you're having a child with. Why is the Five of Wands energy here? Some of you guys could deal with a Leo or a Cancer. Okay, so we got the Lovers card and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, somebody's jealous of your relationship. And like, you know, it was crazy. It's like, maybe they don't even know what's really going on in your relationship and they're still jealous of it. So yeah, you, you got, you got haters. <laughs> I'll just say that. You definitely got haters. Uh, but it's okay. I definitely feel you guys are going to move forward. You can't let the shit affect you because just remember, hurt people hurt people. You can't let, you know, shit affect you like that. Why is the King of Pentacles energy here? A lot of you focus on the home, focus on stability. Why is the King of Pentacles energy here? Okay, Ten of Pentacles, yeah. I said, and I love that the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, this, you're headed towards this beautiful energy. The Ten of Pentacles, this is being just overall satisfied, overall stable financially. You know, the Ten of Cups, this is being emotionally fulfilled and happy with yourself, your family, your relationship, all of that. Like, you're headed towards this energy. We do have the Strength Card energy, so of course it's going to take um, some focus on your part. It's going to take some strength on your part to allow yourself to walk away and let go even if you've been friends with these people for years possibly been dating these people for years it could even be uh, family members like it's gonna hurt to walk away but you have to do it so i do feel like that's something that's going to be a challenge for you guys and you guys are going to have to work through but do know yeah it's going to hurt for a little bit but it's going to open you up to you know this happiness this drama free life you know it's good you're going to manifest good things when you're in a good state of mind why is the five of swords here Oh, shit. Judgment. Ooh. Judgment clarifying the Five of Swords. Like I said, the Five of Swords, this is somebody that does not have good intentions towards you. Somebody trying to get one over on you, like manipulate you, make you believe something that's not true. Judgment card. I feel like a lot of you are picking up on this. Picking up on it. Um, advice is to make a decision. Walk away. Whatever you need to do. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Okay. Yeah, we have the Page of Wands and the Emperor. So this is telling me it's time to take control of what you've got going on. Take control of your life. Take control of your future. Um, and I do feel like, unfortunately, some people that are your friends right now or some people that you're dating right now or whatever, you're not going to be dating them for long. You ain't going to be friends you know, going through the rest of 2022. Um, a lot of things are going to be exposed. Like I said, you got a lot of people jealous of you right now. You got a lot of people, you know, whatever, fighting for your attention, talking shit, whatever the case is. Um, but it doesn't matter. You've got all of the, I feel like it's, the reason that they're doing this is because they know you're headed towards a good place. They know you're going to be successful. You shine. Star card, star card energy, you shine. And this is what these people don't like. So, I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarrow.com. Be sure to go check out the new merch. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.